hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to take a look on file uploading and processing directly so there are two things in the last video we have seen a simple file upload and a simple processing but we were uploading it to a particular folder right and this disk storage we are getting from a multi module which you can independently install okay and you can also upload a multiple files this is what this was a part one and for part one because we wanted to use a multi module sorry um putting a different name every time it's a multi module okay so you need this multi module but when you just wanted to upload a file and process it process it without uploading it to a server directory in that case you don't need this multi module at all so this is the part two so i will just remove this you don't need it okay uh, maybe you can comment it i mean you can switch to these two different versions and here this is my another controller where we are actually doing the the upload and directly process without uploading it to a, a particular server okay so because when i was developing this i faced a lot of challenges with the file validations and uh, how to uh, how to put a swagger spec for this apis so i'm just going to share all these things so you won't face those kind of troubles okay so what we are going to do is first this is my post upload api v1 upload first we will use some custom decorators so that we should be able to get a multi part form data in our uh, swagger because nestjs exposes the swagger so nestjs will know okay this is the file upload api and i need to allow you to give a binary option to upload a file through swagger okay now use interceptor here we will not need this because we are not using multer if you are using a multer module then you have to specify the multer options okay in which particular directory you want to upload and i will say that i am uploading a file with the name file name attribute okay and rest all are going to be the same here we are got getting upload file and file type and here we will be able to process the file now here is the picture of the validation okay what if the file is not coming properly what if another file type is coming how to check if file is not null all these things right so file interceptor we have file interceptor first we are passing the file name second option we are passing is the validation like file filter here you see file filter is option and we can actually create a file filter which is like say uh, image file filter image file filter will check okay you are passing the image files or not otherwise i will reject that okay upload file here we got the upload file and the request i mean this file object will give us a lot of things but now here is the catch now how do we know that file is coming bad i mean this exception handling here is a tricky if you are uploading uh, other than image file it will throw an exception and you will not be able to pass the uh, custom exception from your controller so what we need to do is we will go to this image file filter and we will try to customize this filter so that we can actually see the appropriate message okay so we are going to play with the request object okay so here if this is matching that is fine otherwise what we will do is request dot uh, let's say file validation error this is something which we are attaching to the request object and we will just say only image file allowed right so we are sending it in the request object and here we in the callback we will just say we, we are not going to throw any exception null and false right null and false means uh, the file is invalid not matching our criteria we go to our controller now we have added something in the file validation error right that we can get here in our controller here we can just see first of all if file object is there if file object is null maybe you are not up, not even uploading that is a different case here request dot here we have added one validation 
request dot file validation error so request dot file validation error if it is there then you have to throw new bad request exception and you will just say invalid invalid file provided image files allow or something like that you will just throw a message okay so this is the exception you are throwing let me just import this and we are we are accessing the request object so we can also add the request object here request object is of type any that is fine if everything is fine till now so this is a custom validation we have added right if file is not there if the file validation error is there okay invalid file provided image files are allowed you can just specify the regex what all files you need you are allowed okay here we can actually do two things either you can get a buffer of the file which you have uploaded so it's like file dot buffer this is not of type any i will say this is of type express dot i'm not getting that exactly express dot yeah i think it's a mutler monitor dot file and then you can access file dot buffer right these are two things you have now you got the buffer object now what you can do is this buffer object can be helpful for you to upload it to s3 or there is another thing which we can do is i can get the stream from the buffer because for azure upload i need stream of file and i have seen this for s3 upload you just need file buffer okay so to get the stream from buffer we are going to use this get stream module which is really very popular and uh, i was not much aware about this but in in while doing with these files we always face the trouble right into stream so this can convert a file into a stream buffer into a stream a binary file into a stream so you can do is we will we will install this method and here this is for azure and here we got the stream equal to get stream and we are doing file dot buffer once you have a stream right you can do anything with a stream you could just upload right away just upload it uh, just by calling the azure method so that we will see in the next video so that is a part three but now here we have done all different validation the last thing which is left okay the decorator okay rest all tags you can add so this decorator is really very important which i somehow missed so this upload file file name so what i'm saying is here we have to create this custom decorator okay so this custom decorator is nothing but uh, uh, what it will say is if whenever your request is coming right so you will have a file name attribute there so it will help us to extract the payload object from there binary payload object from there so what i will do is can i create it here only on the top you can create it in a separate file api body this i got from the documentation i didn't create it by myself okay so it is taking this file if you're not passing any file name so what i'm saying in this upload file is there is a file name is the keyword which you will specify while doing this binary upload okay with the final file name as a keyword we will extract the file which you are uploading okay so that's the part that, that is the part second in the part three we can talk about uploading it to s3 or azure by creating azure service and the s3 service okay uh, thanks everyone